November 11, 2010, the Department of Health and Human Services launched their new tobacco strategic plan. We spoke with Scout, the director of the Network for LGBT Tobacco Control, and Matthew Myers, the president of the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, about the new strategic plan. You know, this is the first time we're seeing this level of coordination across the federal government to try and help move tobacco forward or tobacco control forward. And I feel like that's a really historic thing that it should have happened long ago. It was very important to see that LGBT populations were explicitly named and mentioned as having priorities and disproportionate impact from tobacco several times within the report. So that was also very important. Today's announcement of a new strategic action plan to reduce tobacco use combined with truly effective health warnings will have a particularly strong effect in the gay and lesbian community and those concerned about HIV because of the disproportionate number of gay and lesbians who smoke and the dramatic health impact of tobacco use on those also at risk for HIV. You know, one of the things that's very important for LGBT folks is that we actually don't have the same type of social support that many other people have, and it, meaning that we may not have as much support from our coworkers or our neighbors or um, you know our schoolmates, things like that. So as a result, we're actually really disproportionately reliant on usually many other LGBT or LGBT supportive people we have as friends, which kind of creates this real vicious cycle of we have people who may be smoking more around us and then you know as I like to call it it's like a socially transmitted disease if our adults are smoking more we teach our youth to smoke more and if we're around and overly reliant on all these other social connections that are smoking more it makes a big difference and it makes it harder for us to step out of it. How does tobacco affect the HIV community specifically? We really need to make sure that the HIV programs are integrating tobacco cessation efforts and that the Tobacco cessation programs are really making sure that they outreach the HIV positive communities, especially disparity populations that are duly affected by issues related to discrimination, like people of color, LGBT folks, all those sorts of overlaps make it harder to step out and step away from this really serious addiction. Where can viewers go for more information? Definitely uh, hit us up on our blog, lgbttobacco at wordpress.com. And also we have our website, lgbttobacco.org. And for more information on the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, visit www.tobaccofreekids.org.